Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The HAL has two major orders from Indian Air Force to fulfill. The first one is for 40 Tejas Mark 1 which includes 32 single seater variant and 8 trainer aircraft. The second order is for 83 Tejas Mark 1A which includes 73 single seater variant and 10 trainer aircrafts. From the first order of this Mark 1, 30 Tejas single-seater have been produced by HL and handed over to Indian Air Force which includes 16 IOC and 14 FOC variant. The remaining two LC Tejas are in advanced stages of production and will be handed over by March 2023. The eight trainers from the initial order are split into two parts and HL will deliver four trainer this financial year that is by 2023. March and the remaining four by next year. So by March 2023, Indian Air Force will get six new fighter jets, which will include two single-seater LCA Tejas Mark 1 and four trainer aircraft. All the trainer versions are going to be of same standard, that is, it will be of FOC standard. The remaining four trainers will be delivered by the financial year 2023. With this, the initial order of 40 LCA Tejas will be complete. Now, in an interview with the Tribune, C.B. Anand Krishnan, the chairman and managing director of HAL, has told that HAL will start the delivery of this Mark 1A from February 2024. All the material and component needed is ready, including engines and the certifications are going on simultaneously. HAL is looking to commence the delivery of the first plane on schedule in February 2024 and even trying to advance the delivery of the first plane by a month or so. HL has upgraded the LCTS Mark 1 with serial production number SP25 to Mark 1A level. The aircraft secretly took its first flight on 20th May 2022. The SP25 will act as a test platform for the entire production line of MK1A version and will undergo certification tests over the coming months. HL is expected to complete the development trials of this Mark 1A by the end of year 2023. After the completion of tests, the deliveries of this Mark 1A will begin from March 2024 onwards. As per contract, HL is required to deliver the first three aircraft in 2024 and 16 aircraft annually for the next five years. The initial production capability of HL is 8 aircrafts per year but now additional capacity is available. HL has planned to progressively scale up the production rate to 16 Tejas per year for delivery of this Mark 1A orders. The production rate can be further increased to 24 aircraft per year if HL backs additional export order to meet domestic as well as export requirements. The firm can make investment on setting up additional jigs and fixtures upon receiving the confirmed order. Now talking about the indigenous content, in any aircraft, the indigenous content is measured either by the value or LRUs and LLRU. LRU stands for Line Replaceable Unit and LLRU stands for Lower Line Replaceable Units. LC Tejas is 59.7% indigenous by value and 75.5% by LRUs and LLRUs. Now most of the cost goes into engine and AAC radar which is imported. LC Tejas has 344 LRUs and LLRUs in total out of which 210 LLRUs and LRUs are manufactured indigenously. The Mark 1A version will feature more indigenous components such as LRUs and radars which will increase its indigenous content percentage. It will have close to 65% indigenous content by value. At the same time, this Mark II is expected to reach 80% indigenous content by value when it enters into production. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.